game two. Live odds, sportsbook review, and SBR odds. Mets and the Brewers. Here's Harvey. He's back. Harvey against Garza, $1.10. ten nine the total. I mean, apparently, Harvey got pissed off that his former girl, Adriana Lima, was out with Julian Edelman. Uh, Stu Gotts from the Dan Lebetard show had a good quote that the Patriots beat the Jets, and so now they beat the Mets. Uh, Edelman was, was out with Lima. Harvey got pissed, went on a bender, played golf on Saturday. Apparently uh, got a headache. Communication was an issue. Didn't make it to the ballpark, so they suspended him. He came in. I'm sorry. I apologize. Reyes ripped him. Other players not happy. The one thing he did not apologize for, having an ERA of five and change over six starts with a career low K percentage and a career high in base on balls percentage. Not good now. Teddy, 10 days between starts. He wasn't good to begin with. <laughs> so, you know, we talk about the situation all the time. Athletes, they're human beings. Sports bettors, we're human beings. Sometimes you have a bad day. Sometimes you have a bad week. Sometimes something happens off the field that's going to affect your life. So here's the skinny. He still apparently got the hots for his ex-girlfriend or his girlfriend or whatever it is. And now she's going out with somebody else. And he goes on a bender. Paula, you been there? I've been there. You know, I imagine most of the people watching the show at some point in their life have been there, but we're not living in the New York media spotlight. And when you go on a bender because <laughs> your girl is going out with somebody else, all of a sudden now it's like national news and a huge story and all of that. And of course, you know, here's a quote. Obviously, I'm extremely embarrassed by my actions. I apologize to my teammates, to the Mets organization, to the Wilpons, all the way down to Mets fans for doing what I did. Yes, I was out Friday night past curfew. I did play golf Saturday morning, and I put myself in a bad place to be ready for showing up for a ball game, and that is my responsibility. I take full blame for that. I'm doing everything in my power so that never happens again. That's a good quote, Paul. That's what he's supposed to say. It's a sign of maturity. It's accepting responsibility for being human, which is something that we all are. But, you know, you talk about a pitcher that has issues. Well, it's almost like you're excusing his behavior. What he did was ridiculous. Yes, I'm excusing his behavior. Of course I'm excusing his behavior. It's ridiculous what he did. He's done it before. Have you ever done something like that? Guys worth, guys worth $20 million. You can't go out and get another girl? Show up to work. Unbelievable. Yes or no, have you ever had a situation with your girl that affected you in some other way? Don't, you can't, comp I'm, I'm, I'm not making $20 million a year. It's not even the same thing. I'm absolutely comparing. Let alone when this is a guy in his early 20s, okay? He, we're not talking about a 50-year-old man that doesn't have it together. It's a guy who hasn't been in this situation 100 times before in his life. I'm absolutely excusing him. No question. We're all human, Paulie, every one of us. Even Matt Harvey, even with his career low strikeout percentage, even with his career high walk percentage. But, you know, his velocity's back to where it used to be. His command isn't. And, of course, the rest of the Mets are complete mess right now. Look at all the guys on the DL, Paulie. Thor, Cespedes, Duda, Wright, Mats, Familia added the DL too. That's the last thing they needed. And Garza? Not bad. Showing some decent stuff. 1-0 with a 2-5-5 through three starts so far. You see the strikeout percentage. It would be his best since 2003. Base on ball percentage would be a career best as well. Maybe he doesn't have the stamina, stamina to hold up through the full season. But over 1,600 career innings pitched he can outthink some hitters, too. What, what do you think? Do you think they'll, I don't know, rally around and rise up to get a big effort out of Harvey? Or would you like to fade him because he hasn't pitched in 10 days? Well, I'll tell you what. I, I mean, uh, the, the Brewers have hit the ball all year. And, you know, we saw Braun and uh, Eric Tem sit, sit out yesterday. So I think it's going to be tough <laughs> if Tames plays today. Certainly, you look at his numbers. I mean, you know, number one in baseball – in home runs, number four in OPS, number three in slugging percentage, number eight in on base, number 15 in batting. We're talking about an impact offensive player. And I don't know that Harvey wants to challenge him with fastballs. He's going to have to get <laughs> his breaking ball command in order if he's going to have success in Milwaukee. Hey, gang, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. 
Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.